Trigem and Neuralgia. Many people would have never heard about this one. So for those people who are hearing this name for the first time, I would like to tell in a layman's language, Trigem and Neuralgia is a kind of facial pain. And why is it important for you to know? Because it's a kind of facial pain, when uh, many patients with facial pain, you look for a cause of pain in the eyes, you look for a cause of pain in the nose, you look for a cause of pain in the cheeks, you look for a cause of pain in the teeth. So, people, whereas a trigeminal neuralgia, the cause of pain is within the brain. So, what happens is these people keep roaming around various doctors related to local pathology like the dentist, like the ophthalmologist, like the ENT surgeon and their pain is usually missed since a long time because the cause of pain is not seen because of pain is within the brain. So if you are suffering from long standing pain in the face, probably you may be suffering from trigeminal neuralgia. And try to follow my rest of video where I will explain you the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. And whoever has this pain, they describe saying that this is the worst kind of pain they have experienced in lifetime. I have seen patients who were trying to commit suicide because of this pain. Before I try to explain you what is trigeminal neuralgia, let us understand what is trigeminal nerve. So trigeminal nerve is a nerve. This nerve is located in the brain. It comes out of the brain and divides into three branches and supply three regions of the face as shown in the figure. We have the right trigeminal nerve supplying the right side of the face. We have the left trigeminal nerve supplying the left side of the face. And each side, suppose you have the right trigeminal nerve, it divides into three parts. The upper part supplies the face, uh, it supplies the eye up till the top of the head. The middle portion supplies the region over the cheek. The lower portion supplies the region over the jaw. Now that you have understood what is trigeminal nerve, let us understand what causes trigeminal neuralgia. See the figure. In the figure, you can see the trigeminal nerve dividing into three branches. Normally, we have blood vessels which are called arteries and veins within our brain which supply the brain. These blood vessels usually do not touch the trigeminal nerve. Even if it touches the trigeminal nerve, the trigeminal nerve has a protective sheet over it. But in some patients, what happens is this trigeminal nerve, suppose this is the trigeminal nerve and this is the artery or the vein, that is the blood vessel. So in some patients, this artery touches the nerve. Over a long time, what happens is the protective layer over the nerve gets spoiled. Then whenever the artery contracts, the blood vessels normally contract and relax. So whenever the artery contracts and relaxes, it touches the nerve. And because now the overlying protective sheath is destroyed or it has thinned out, whenever the artery touches the nerve, the nerve gets abnormally excited. This abnormal excitation of the nerve causes pain on the face. Now we will look into what are the symptoms of trigeminal nerve. Before I tell you what are the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia, as I keep telling in each and every video of mine, you are not supposed to make a self-diagnosis. If you suspect that you are suffering from trigeminal neuralgia, do consult your neurosurgeon to Confirm whether it's trigeminal neuralgia or not. Okay. So, as shown in the video, as I've been telling you since the beginning of this video, the trigeminal neuralgia has three parts. One portion supplies the region around the eye up till the top of the head. The second portion supplies the region over the cheek. The third portion supplies the region over the jaw. Usually, the patient suffering from trigeminal neuralgia will have pain in one of the three divisions, either around the eye or over the cheek or in the mandible. And usually on one side, but rarely patient may have symptoms on both the sides of the face 
and it have symptoms in more than one division of the nerve. It depends upon the how many divisions of the nerve the abnormal arterial loop, the blood vessel loop is compressing. And the onset of pain is very very sudden. It starts in a second and when it starts the pain is so severe that as I have told before majority of my patients say this is the worst kind of pain they have experienced in their life. And usually the pain lasts for a few seconds and then disappears. Again to recur very soon. Usually the pain occurs in clusters and then you have pain free period and again you have clusters of pain. The, you can imagine whenever the artery touches the nerve you have a pain and this pain is lightning fast. The, my patients use the word the pain is lightning kind of thing. It's an electric shock like thing which comes suddenly over the face and disappears again to come very soon. And there are many things which trigger the pain. Routine things like brushing, like a small breeze of air which touches your face, shaving, trying to eat something, trying to drink something. This can trigger the pain suddenly. Sometimes the, the triggering event is such a small subtle thing that because of this pain some of my patients are emaciated. Whenever they try to eat the pain is so severe that they will not be able to eat. They will sometimes they will not be even be able to drink because every attempt to brush their teeth elicits pain. Some of my patients don't even brush properly. So when they come their mouth stings and there are various trigger points. Sometimes they may trigger points and be located on the lips. They can be located within the oral cavity uh, that may be located over the skin over the cheek. So whenever you touch this points by even a light touch like the touch of a breeze can elicit pain. The pain is the diagnosis is very often missed because the pain looks to be coming from the jaw. It looks to be coming from the cheek. We tend to look for a cause in the jaw and the teeth. Many of my patients indeed come with teeth extracted teeth extracted thinking the cause of pain is because of caries tooth but even after extraction when their pain is not relieved they come back to us looking for some other cause. So if your pain has symptoms resembling the symptoms which I have told just before then you may be suffering from trigeminal neuralgia. You need to consult your neurosurgeon to confirm their diagnosis. Now the good news is trigeminal neuralgia has a number of modalities of treatment. With the onset of microsurgical treatment, the treatment has become really effective and much safer than before. In my next video, I'll be describing the various treatment modalities available for trigeminal neuralgia. So if you want to hear the, those, subscribe to my channel and do share my video with your colleagues and friends who may be suffering from these similar symptoms.